Hi everyone, welcome back to the We're Making an App series where Ben and I talk about the process of designing and building Cut and Paste, our idea for a surgical logbook for medical students. Today we're going to be talking about how to build the website in under five minutes. Now the first thing to say is that this is not a fully fledged website with an about us page and, and everything. This is just a landing page, i.e. a page that when you go on the website, cut and paste or AC, you see the page, it says what we're doing and it gives you an option to join the mailing list. That's all we need for now. Having started a few projects in the past, I always get the temptation to spend ages working on the website, making it, making sure it looks nice, making it polished. But for something like this, the website is pretty secondary. It's the app that's the most important thing. So we're going to slap together a very quick landing page in under five minutes that does the job and then we're going to move on with our lives to designing the rest of the app, which is far more important. And then in the future, I'll do another video showing you how we design the fully fledged website. The website builder that we're using is called Card, C-A-R-R-D dot C-O. And it's a really cool, simple one page website generator because all we need is a simple one page landing page. And to be honest, anytime I make something new these days, I use Card to generate the initial landing page. And then when I want to, in the future, I'll design a proper website using Sketch and using other apps that I'll introduce in a later video. So the nice thing about card is that you just click a starting point and it comes with pretty reasonable templates and then you can just edit everything about them and it doesn't take very long at all. So we're picking this one. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is change the color of the background. And the website I'm using for this is Flat UI Colors. Um, I quite like this website. It just has a flat color scheme, which is what we're going for here. Um, and there we go. We just copied the hex code of the color and changed the color. Change the name to cut and paste. I think I'm going to change the font to Source Sans because I quite like Source Sans as a general font. Now we're just generally adding in some text. Um, and as I was doing this, I was kind of thinking, hmm, let's let's keep it friendly. Like we're building something cool. I would love to keep it in the loop. That's quite friendly. And then something about please join our mailing list to, if you'd like to hear more. Nothing particularly fancy. That's straightforward. These are amazing drinks, by the way. My love. The best thing about Southeast Asia, I reckon. Changing the sizing a bit and just kind of doing a bit of experimentation. But to be honest, center line probably works. And now for the icon. Okay, let's talk about this. There's a really good website called flaticon.com that gives you icons like this one. And the nice thing about flat icon is that you've literally got icons for absolutely everything. So Anytime these days I want to slap up a quick logo for anything, I just find something relatively appropriate on flat icon and put text next to it and that creates a pretty reasonable looking logo. And then in the future if the project does go well I can always redesign the logo. But the objective is to get something out the door as soon as possible without getting hung up on the details like, you know, the logo or the colour scheme or anything like that. Right, so we've been working on it for 2 minutes and 45 seconds and we're pretty much there. Now it's just to make some minor tweaks. Yeah, this is looking quite reasonable. Setting a title, setting a description, and kindpays.card.co, we can just use their own domain for the time being. And now, if we view the site, it should look quite reasonable. Yeah, that's great. That's well, not great, it's, it's nothing particularly special, but it doesn't need to be, it's just a landing page, just so that we have a website, don't have to worry about it, and then we can develop the app. And now I'm making some minor tweaks, increasing the, the weight of the email fonts and you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, the whole website was done in about three minutes. These final two minutes are just tweaking. Great. And this is cut and paste. Reasonably straightforward. Took about five minutes to make. All we have to do now is hook up the form to our MailChimp mailing list, uh, which takes all of about 30 seconds and then we're done. So this is how we make a website in five minutes. Um, the next step was to link the domain name to it. So cutandpaste.ac rather than cutandpaste.card.co. Uh, to use this feature, you've got to have a pro account on card, which I do, which is $19 a year, which is very reasonable. This video is just showing, speed it up, what it looks like to register a domain on Namecheap.com and edit the DNS settings. Um, you get all the instructions on card.co. And then we go cut and paste or AC and the website magically works. And in total, about seven minutes of time spent making the website, buying the domain, getting the DNS settings right. And we've got a fully functioning website. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's so easy to make a website these days. We don't even need to use Squarespace or Weebly or anything like that. We just need to go on card.co, make a simple one page website and then get on with our lives. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.